good entrepreneurship morning to you it's tuesday can you imagine already the week is already on the move and it's about time we delve into some of the businesses and some of the careers and some of the moves that the young people are making out here to put food on the table and also to do something for themselves so today on why in the morning on entrepreneurship tuesday my name is hilda Mabibi. we have opened on a sweet tooth we have a lady with us here in studio who specializes in pastries and making of beautiful cakes and, and all the sweets and the chocolate and she's even come with wine here for demonstration i can already smell the sugar from where i am it looks really good so it's about time i introduce you to ziki's cakery linda please introduce yourself and say good morning good morning my name is ziki mm -hmm. i am the proprietor at ziki's cakery mm -hmm. that is an online bakery mm -hmm. that deals with cakes and cupcakes mm -hmm. at the moment yes. okay so the cakery business is what we want we're going to talk about yes especially today so please make sure you interact with us on twitter we're at y254 channel the hashtag is why in the morning hashtag entrepreneurship tuesday on facebook we're at y254 on instagram at y254 underscore channel and on youtube we're at y254 channel just in case you miss any of the valuable insight here on dstv channel 376 so it's about time we get to know ziki's cakery where did your passion for pastries and sweetness come from it came from my mom mm -hmm. and my sister oh. my mom used to bake mm -hmm. for us at home mm -hmm. and then she taught us how to bake so we had cake mm -hmm. at home all the time mm -hmm. and um, with time I learned I started to want cake for myself mm -hmm. so I was taught and then I started mm -hmm. practicing mm -hmm. and I'd bake for my friends mm -hmm. go to school with cake mm -hmm. yeah so it, it kind of started as a hobby yes Yes, ah. it did. So why did you decide you wanted to take your business online? Uh, what is it about social media or the internet that caught your attention and you saw, as, you saw it as an opportunity to grow your business? Uh, initially, I think it was just easier mm -hmm. to go online mm -hmm. than to open a shop mm -hmm. and go into all those formalities because mm -hmm. we we grew up knowing mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. rather we as in we are used to it mm -hmm. so uh, when i started the business mm -hmm. it was faster you know though you're told to start with what you have mm -hmm. instead of saying i'll start next year when i have mm -hmm. money to open mm -hmm. a shop mm -hmm. i have a phone that has internet and i have friends so mm -hmm. you tell your friends tell your friends to tell friends and mm -hmm. yeah that's how it started so where do you do all the baking from just asking, like, where do you get all your your resources? Your because you know this is this is a combination of very many sweet things. Yes. I'd like to know um how where do you get your finances? Where do you get your capital to get your resources? And where do you do this cake? As much as you're not physically uh, located somewhere on the outside, but Amma, you do it at home. I do it at home. Uh huh. Um, where uh. Okay, I have two homes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm in Nairobi and in Kitui. Mm -hmm. So when I'm in Nairobi, mm -hmm. my sister is also a baker and she has a space dedicated to baking. Mm -hmm. So that's where we bake. Mm -hmm. And then in Kitui, my parents have given me a space uh -huh. for my, my bakery. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the resources, when I started, a lot of the money came from my parents. Mm -hmm. They were very supportive and they still are. Uh -huh. And then with time, as I have come to run the business, mm -hmm. I get money from the business and mm -hmm. then I plow it back in. Okay, oh, so you're able to give back. It's like it's like a small loan. Like now you're able to give yes. back slowly, slowly. I have actually paid all my loans. Now hey. the business is running itself. Okay, <laughs> all yes. right, all right. So now let's reverse. Let's go. Wait, let's go back, Kidogo. Mm -hmm. um, before, before um, when, you were, when you were busy discovering your hobby in baking and stuff, mm -hmm. who was Linda? Who was Ziki before that? What were you doing? What <laughs> were you studying? What were you about? Where um, did you go to school? Sorry. Mm. I was in University of Nairobi mm -hmm. studying quantity surveying. Quantity surveying? Yes. Goodness. <laughs> uh -huh. So up until third year, uh -huh. I was very sure I was going to be a QS. Uh -huh. And um, it's, it came from my dad being an architect. Mm -hmm. So I actually wanted to be an architect, but he was like, mm. Mm -hmm you're not fit for that in a nice way and okay. i wasn't so he <laughs> was steered offended. me i was offended uh -huh. but he steered me in the right direction uh -huh. him and my mom and mm -hmm. they led me to qs which was a better fit for me mm -hmm. so in third year when i went to for my internship mm -hmm. it was so hard mm. it was very like i was really straining okay. to to work. Mm -hmm. I actually went for two weeks mm -hmm. and then I took a one week break uh -huh. and then I went back for one and a half weeks and I was like, 
I'm sorry, I can't. You decided, no, this is not for you. Yeah, and then at that time, mm -hmm. there was a um, kick at a fair mm -hmm. that was being advertised, and they had this thing called kick at Baker's Club. Mm -hmm. So my friends kept forwarding me those posts, and I was mm -hmm. like, ah, let me check it out. Oh. So I went uh -huh. there, and it came at the right time. Uh -huh. Uh, I went and there were these workshops and um, the industry big wigs were coming to talk to us and train us mm -hmm. about where to go and what to do. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I eased into the baking industry very easily because mm -hmm. I had the passion mm -hmm. and then there was all this know-how that I was mm -hmm. given. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it's. I started. like that. In fact, I feel like I want to dwell on that. You had this passion, and then you had this know-how, and then and then you got this know-how from networking yes. with the people that you had gone to meet at that particular cake. And so this thing is just go put yourself out there. Exactly. Yes, carry your passion, meet people, mm -hmm. Cindy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then now, when you started your business, you were able to to take over. Yes. It was be, it was able to go through. Okay, so let's talk about some of the first few clients you got. Um, tell me how you felt the first time someone ordered for one of your cakes and what was their response? Um, the first person who ordered a cake was actually my brother's friend because mm -hmm. he always used to come over and we'd have cake. Mm -hmm. So when I told him I'm selling cake, he's like, uh, let me buy one. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he's like, how much? I'm like, um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, just give me... I don't even remember what I charged him, but it was very low. Mm -hmm. And the cake was... It wasn't pretty. It <laughs> tasted good. It <laughs> but tasted it good. I, like I look at that photo now, I'm like, I don't understand. You've what grown this. a lot. <laughs> I, I truly have. Uh -huh. uh, but when he sent photos uh -huh. and feedback, he's mm -hmm. like, everyone loved your cake. Mm -hmm. This was so good. I'm going to order another one. Mm -hmm. It really encouraged me to mm -hmm. go on. Mm -hmm. And I used to <laughs> to bake cake uh -huh. for my classmates mm -hmm. in university. So mm -hmm. I'd take... I just take cake to them. Mm -hmm. So when I start, when I went and told them, no, I'm selling cake. So it was more or less kidogo pro bono. Like you had to Definitely. do a bit of risk because guys have to taste it. Yeah. So yeah, they can you also have give to. referrals anyway. And mm -hmm. it's it's good for us. Mm -hmm. I know people are like, yeah, free cake. But if a, <laughs> if a baker is, is tactical mm -hmm. or tactful, mm -hmm. Tactful. Tactful. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, it, it's a good time to test your recipes. Mm -hmm. Like, go try out everything mm -hmm. and then take to people. Go mm -hmm. like, ah, here's free cake. No one will Sample. cut a free cake. And then they give you feedback mm -hmm. and go like, this has too much sugar. This doesn't taste too good. Or mm -hmm. try this. Mm -hmm. So that, I got that in university because mm -hmm. we were very mean in school. Mm -hmm. And I also used to say, like, when I... When I take cake to school, there are mm -hmm. some that I used to sell. So and you get actually some put money. yourself through a probation period, through through an through an internship period, like just a, a place where you give you make you give your cakes to people, mm -hmm. see you bake them, you sacrifice. I can see. Okay, yeah. Now now, I, now I'm following your journey very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now when you decided, um, when you got your clients and your classmates and they started giving referrals, I'm guessing that's what happened. Yes. Yeah. They gave um, referrals and what have you, and it started to grow. Did your pricing change? What more did you do to, to, to better your skills? Because I'm seeing a lot of art in the cake that I'm seeing here. Thank so you. now that you said your first cake was not as oh. look good looking, <laughs> I'd like to know where you trained yourself to make it look good. Where did you, where did you grow? Did you go, did you, go to a, did you enroll yourself in a, in, a, in a school? Did you learn it on YouTube? Let us know. Yes, I attend the University of Google. University of Google? Yeah, the okay. YouTube mm -hmm. baking school, to uh -huh. be specific. <laughs> uh -huh. um, when I started, mm -hmm. uh, there's, you know, there's so much information in the internet mm -hmm. and it's overwhelming because mm -hmm. everyone has their own style and you're like, ah, this looks good, this looks good, I should try this. Mm -hmm. So at first, I did a lot of copying. Mm -hmm that most most of the time it didn't work for me because mm -hmm. that's someone's style mm -hmm. so with time you g you were told to be inspired by them like you look at a oh. certain style mm -hmm. and then you make it yours mm -hmm. instead of just going like okay that's the cake that mm -hmm. i've seen i like how it looks i'm gonna copy if you can copy fine and good mm -hmm. so it just i personally mm -hmm. i just I watched a lot, I still do, I watch a lot of tutorials mm -hmm. and I practice and the ones that I can do f fine, mm -hmm. the ones that I can't do, I try and twist it kidogo to mm -hmm. see how mm -hmm. it can 
become mine. How it so you make sure you own it. You yes. give it your own flair. Yes. Because I was actually going to ask you, what would be so different between your cakery and any other cakery I would meet, I would find outside online? Because they can imagine the competition is real over there. Oh, yes. Yes. So um, please let us know, what's so special about Ziggy? Uh, I... I really don't like that question. Mm -hmm. Simply Many because... Many people don't like that question. Yeah, uh -huh. we, we are all unique, <laughs> just like everyone else. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I don't... I, I honestly wouldn't say that I'm special and mm -hmm. my cakes are amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, my cakes are good mm -hmm. and they taste good and mm -hmm. they look good, mm -hmm. but so does another baker's. Mm -hmm. So it depends on, on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Personally, I... I am not those um, bakers mm -hmm. who <laughs> you're like, Ziki, I need this cake done, mm -hmm. like this, exactly like this. Mm -hmm. In most cases, I disappoint my clients all the time. Like, it's so hard for me mm -hmm. to copy people. Ah. So I find that if you want something that is more artsy, more mm -hmm. like... It, it takes Unique. after you, yeah. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm like, yo, what's okay. your favorite color? What do you <laughs> like about this? And then I, I uh -huh. try and incorporate that into your cake. Then mm -hmm. I want this cake. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, um, okay, I'll try. <laughs> but I always tell people, I, all my clients, uh -huh. if they bring me something I can't do, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen those funny videos yes. and photos on yes. Facebook yes. for bakers who claim they can do stuff <laughs> and they can't. So uh -huh. I like, personally, mm -hmm. I like to just make it yours because mm -hmm. it's your cake at the end of the day. So what I'm hearing is you study your, your, your client. You'll study and then you'll be like, okay, so based on what I've, what I've heard from here, let me see what I can whoop up. Yes. But give me my room and my creative space to mm. work. Interesting. So let's talk about your, fl your flavors, your favorite flavors. Um, I'm say what flavor is this event that's here on the table? This particular one is mm -hmm. a cinnamon coffee sponge cake. Cinnamon coffee sponge cake. Yes. Sounds like so many words. I know, right? Yeah, break it down. Let's go. It's, it's uh, mm -hmm. a sponge cake is a cake that has no fat. It's just flour, mm -hmm. sugar, eggs. That's the difference. Yeah. And then it's, oh, uh -huh. you moisten it with simple syrup. But now this one is moistened with coffee. So it's a cinnamon sponge cake oh that's goodness. moistened with coffee. coffee. So mm -hmm. it's like perfect for breakfast. It's like, it's like you're just eating cake and drinking tea. I'm at so the same glad time. you got it here on wine in the morning. <laughs> we are so excited. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, but mm -hmm. it's not on my, on my menu. Mm -hmm. My menu only has mm -hmm. chocolate cakes mm -hmm. and fresh fruit cakes. Fresh fruit cakes. Yes, fresh fruit cakes mm -hmm. are kina orange cake, lemon, mm -hmm. banana, mm -hmm. carrot, coconut, or mm -hmm. And then chocolate cakes, um, starting with my most oh, famous, mm -hmm. that word just put ahead. My best or something. Yes, the mm -hmm. one that everyone orders is the devil's food cake. Devil's food cake. Yes. I'd like to know what that contains. It's just that, it's okay, it's not just, it is <laughs> the. It is the. The. Okay. Chocolate cake. It's, <laughs> it comes from the technique uh -huh. of how you make it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very moist and very decadent. Mm -hmm. And Haina Mambo Mob mm -hmm. doesn't have a lot of chocolate in it. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not a chocolate fan, mm -hmm. I've given that cake to people who don't like chocolate and they like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Akina Red Velvet, um, Chocolate Red Velvet, mint. I like Red Velvet. Yes, mm -hmm. you know chocolate, sorry, Red Velvet is yes. a chocolate cake. Uh -huh. I know. Mm -hmm. Don't be lied to <laughs> my bakers who give you a vanilla cake with red food color. That's <laughs> not Red Velvet. Guys, yeah. now let's talk about challenges. <laughs> now that you've brought it up, now we've had this, some counterfeit products in the market. Um, how do you deal with, 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 with selling your cakes in a market where people are also selling their cakes and some are trying to be... Um, Corny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, How do you make sure that you was you don't get yourself caught up in that whole mess? Uh, let me be corny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just have to stay true to yourself. <laughs> if you know what it is you mm -hmm. offer people, mm -hmm. then you need to stick to it. Mm -hmm. Because if your if your objective is money, mm -hmm. then you're going to sell a kg for a thousand shillings, mm -hmm. so that you undercut everyone else to get that yeah. that money. Yes, but the things that you're gonna have to put in that cake to make it that price mm. without, ha ha as in hurting your pocket, mm -hmm. is gonna be, uh, I mean, <laughs> we hear of bakers mm -hmm. who make mm -hmm. frosting with Kimbo mm -hmm. and such. Yeah. Kimbo. Yeah, and that, it's a fact. Hmm. So, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. 
you you have to inform i like to inform my people mm -hmm. and like know what you're putting into your body mm -hmm. uh know what you want mm -hmm. if your if your aim is just to get a cake mm -hmm. then fine go get that on four thousand shillings <laughs> but if you want a memory where mm -hmm. you you have a beautiful cake you're taking photos you know the, everything is now mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. something that you're gonna show off to people mm -hmm. something that you're going to enjoy something mm -hmm. that won't hurt your body mm -hmm then you had best do your research and go and get a good cake. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, mm -hmm. you're going to get these good cakes from home bakers. I'm not saying other people don't have good cakes. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying with most home bakers, this is more of a passion. Mm -hmm. This is someone who's taking their time to take care of you. Mm -hmm. This is just one cake that they're making instead of someone who's churning out like 50 cakes in a day yes. and they have to sell all those cakes. Yes, yeah. This is someone who's just working on yours. But now if you put it that way, what, what, what happens when it comes to your plan for diversification in the next maybe five, four years? Do you still want to be online? What do you expect for yourself in the next four or five years? Personally, mm. I, I have been doing celebration cakes mm -hmm. for the past two years. Mm -hmm. And I want to venture into wedding cakes. Mm -hmm. So, and I also do want a shop front just to Ooh, bring mm -hmm. in an extra income mm -hmm. for those people who are pita in town and uh -huh. they, they mm -hmm. smell the cake. <laughs> but uh -huh. um, I like convenience, mm -hmm. and my goal is to still work from home mm -hmm. where I live here and I work from here mm -hmm. but i'm close to home so that in case god wills me to have a family i'm not feeling at you oh, i have to go to work and then i'm leaving my children mm. with this person who might cook for us food with do you what <laughs> exactly you know those horror stories that we oh hear god. Uh -huh. you i can have my cake and eat it mm -hmm. You can have your cake that and eat so it. Good. I like what you did there. I really did. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk, let's talk about um, um, when usually when I do these interviews, I like to hear about your 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 best and your worst moment, especially when it comes to client relations, that I can also know how you deal with it. So, um, have you ever made a cake and you went and 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 you did your thing and you flared it up mm -hmm. and then they told you, oh my God, no. Yeah. Oh, it has happened? Not once, not twice. Mm -hmm. It always happens. Oh, goodness. Okay, so what do always, you do? No, not always. <laughs> but it has happened a number of times. So how do you handle it? You pray. Mm -hmm. It starts by prayer. You pray? Mm -hmm. Because the first uh, <laughs> reaction is mm -hmm. anger. Because mm -hmm. you're like, yo, do you know what I put into <laughs> this cake? Do you even know? I didn't even sleep. So <laughs> I went where to buy what for you? And then you're telling me, do you what? So it's, that's <laughs> always the first feeling. Mm -hmm. But then you need, I humble myself and go like, well, mm -hmm. they didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And you can't change that they didn't like it. Mm -hmm. So you bring yourself down and mm -hmm. you first say sorry mm -hmm. because they didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And as much as it's mutual, I gave you a cake and you gave me money, but mm -hmm. you are not satisfied. Mm -hmm. So I apologize for those who I can... Um, Okay, sometimes words just it's, go it's, away. It's, it's okay. But I like to compensate mm -hmm. some. Uh -huh. Like if you're like, oh, Ziki, this was just, I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't with you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let me give you like a complimentary box of cupcakes mm -hmm. or I will knock off mm -hmm. this amount of your next order just to, to lose them. Because yes, we like yes. to be Bempele's words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's an interesting way. At least now I've learned that you come down fast. You yeah, can you have to it sometimes um, because uh, at the end of the day, you still need some of these clients, and they'll need, and they'll make referrals exactly. also. Exactly. And so if you overreact, they might just say they will still refer you, yeah, but in a bad way. Like, don't go there. Way. Yeah, that's very that's very correct. So now let's talk about your best one. Like, was there a cake you did, and the feedback you got has kept you going for a very long time? I don't think I can choose one, uh. but the one I remember mm -hmm. most recently mm -hmm. was a cake I did for my friend, mm -hmm. his graduation mm -hmm. party, mm -hmm. the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. And that cake was a huge uh, tiered cake. Mm -hmm. And when it came out of the house, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was so happy mm -hmm. with that work. Like I was like, yo, this mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. this Absolute. one, you, you, did, you did a good job. Uh -huh. Like I patted myself on the back. Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. when I was delivering mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. it, things fell and like I had supported and everything, uh, yeah. but uh -huh. something happened to the cake. Oh no. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know because it was in the back seat, mm -hmm. and I mean my cup and belly. Mm -hmm. 
So when it's, I realized when I got there, and they're like, yo, we can't even wait. Uh, just take this cake too, to the table. So I'm like, yeah, sure, fine. And there were two. So one was his, one was his brother's. So his is the one that was destroyed. So I opened the box. Destroyed by, like, the cup moved and yeah. then the cream was like. It wasn't cream. It, okay, it was a graduation cup. Mm. But instead of, I usually make it with fondant. This time we made it with chocolate. But okay. it was too heavy. So it just slid off and then Oops. fell on the uh -huh. side of the cake and mm -hmm. sort of just cutted all the cream. And there was no way to hide it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I realized this when I'm opening the box in front of people. And oh I'm my like, God. Ah, my friend, we we can't put this cake. He's like, put it, put it. I'm like, no, come see. He's like, no, put it. And he's there with a team of photographers and they're <laughs> taking photos of the cake. This cake that, as in there's no way you can <laughs> fix it. It's like this cake with the chocolate. Yeah. So if there's cream, like you can't it's even. it's irreversible damage. You can't. Uh -oh. So you're there you're trying to turn. He's like, no, 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 <laughs> just put it. And he was so understanding. And mm -hmm. he's like, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can bring to the table. Mm -hmm. And because mm -hmm. your cakes are good. Yeah. And I will always order your cake. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo. Oh. Like, my friend, wherever you are, I hope you're watching. <laughs> if you're not watching, thank you. Thank you. Ah, fantastic. I like that story. It's good to hear. It's good to hear how people handle the stress. And, and I'm glad that even your best cake is one that came out of a very tricky oh, situation. Yeah. <laughs> it means you're a very positive person. Thank so you. let's talk about um, your pricing, how you price your cakes. Um, is it on the size? How do, how do you go about pricing or the amount of or the, or the contents? How do you go about uh, selecting a price? And, well, and how much do they reach averagely? Uh, I price my cakes according to size. That's mm -hmm. kg. Mm -hmm. For now, mm -hmm. um, okay, the basis is mm -hmm. like a, a cake with mm -hmm. cream and mm -hmm. decoration. Mm -hmm. That will be one kg ranges from 2,000 mm -hmm. to 2,300 mm -hmm. depending on the flavor. Mm -hmm. But if you have a custom design, mm -hmm. that's going to vary. Or if you want different frosting, like you want ganache mm -hmm. or you want fondant, mm -hmm. then the price is going to vary. Oh. Uh, how I price my cakes, mm -hmm. uh, I learned actually from mm -hmm. this um, baker, mm -hmm. who's the teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, there's, um, gosh, the name. Her name is Maureen, <laughs> Maureen Kamari. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> she is the founder of Amari Baking Center. Mm -hmm. And the I personally believe that that's the best platform mm -hmm. for any baker, whether you're starting off mm -hmm. or you're... You're trying to figure it out somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But especially for beginner bakers, because mm -hmm. when I started out, there's a lot of info out there, but it's from the Western mm. uh, world. Oh. So mm -hmm. here, when you're even trying recipes, like you find their recipes are different from ours. Mm -hmm. They have too much sugar or mm -hmm. they have ingredients that we can't find readily here. Mm -hmm. So she has like a ton of mm -hmm. recipes. This is actually a recipe from her. Mm -hmm. And a lot of information. She has books, how to start a baking business, how mm -hmm. to price your cake so that's the book I got mm -hmm. how to price your cakes and mm -hmm. I followed the info uh -huh. and she has courses like yeah so you actually did take initiative to try and educate yourself on how other bakers are doing it mm -hmm. okay let's talk about uh, as we conclude this segment some of the challenges of online business you know the uh, when it comes to online business there's a lot of issues of fraudsters uh, scammers how do you know that your clients are legit and also how d that whole process of exchanging money d making the order delivering the orders how do you make sure that uh, it's legit oh I personally have a leap and m pesa mm -hmm. pay mm -hmm. till number. Mm -hmm. So I don't start on an order unless you pay me deposit. Mm -hmm. Cause that way I don't sit on me in case you don't pick the cake. Mm -hmm. I've done it before and I every time I don't take mm -hmm. the deposit, I'm disappointed. Ah. So that ensures that I at least can cater for the cost of the cake. Mm -hmm. And then you pay me the half mm -hmm. when you get the cake. So that mm -hmm. way, I'm not telling you pay me everything and mm -hmm. then pray to God that I'll bring you your cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh -huh. Give me something to make your cake. And uh -huh. then now when I bring you cake, you mm -hmm. can give me the rest. Ah, OK. So that's how you make sure it's OK. Yes. All right. So it's about time we conclude this segment. But I'd like you to let the fans know your social media handles, as well as a parting shot. What words of advice do you have for somebody who is interested in the pastry and the sweetness industry um parting short mm -hmm. <laughs> i 
let me start with the handle. Okay. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, that is Zikis Kekari, Zikis underscore Kekari, and Facebook, Zikis Kekari, or you can WhatsApp us on 0798-3355-79. Uh, for those who want to start a business, not even a baking business, mm -hmm. uh, it's very important that you plan. Just do your research. Don't be in a hurry to to start and take off and also give yourself credit. Don't compare yourself all the time because mm -hmm. that's just going to make you feel bad. Go at your own pace. Mm -hmm. Of course, make yourself better every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I and like pray. That. <laughs> pray. <laughs> do a lot of prayer and put yourself before God. <laughs> Okay, oh God, yeah. at least you've started our morning on a good note. Okay, <laughs> so it's about time we paved the way forward by Moses. But please do not go anywhere. Entrepreneurship Tuesday continues shortly. My name is Hilda Wadidi.